Hey Zen fam, here we go. We're getting close to E3 and the leaks are starting to drip, 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 out, out, out. So, what's today's one? Well, as you could probably partially read behind me, there was an Amazon listing for Watch Dogs 3 and apparently it's going to be called Watch Dogs Legion. So they're going to break away from the naming convention, you know, because they had Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2. Now we're getting Watch Dogs Legion. So it's getting like movies, you know, like some games do, where they drop the number and they have a, a title. So oh, that's okay, Legion, yeah. And as has been suspected for the longest time, the new Watch Dogs game will be set in London. And if you've watched any of my videos over the last few years, you'll know that I am sick and tired of London being the de facto city that is always in everything whenever they set anything over this side of the pond. You know, never mind the other cities of the so-called United Kingdom. So, yeah, while I was out protesting Donald Trump, this little gem popped up on air. So, what did Amazon say on their website? Now, this got pulled down, so don't go try looking for it. They pulled this down, but luckily, it's the modern internet in 2019. There's always going to be somebody that's going to go, screen grab! So, what it was said? Well, it said, product description. Watch Dogs Legion is set in the near future dystopian version of London it's a post-Brexit world in which society, politics and technology have changed and altered London's fortune. London is one of the most iconic cities in the world and has had a massive influence on the Western culture for centuries. Yeah. Uh, London makes total sense for WD as the city has one of the highest surveillance levels in the world, making this the perfect playground. All of this is true, in words, you know. London is is one of the most highly surveilled cities on the planet. It does have a certain global significance, overblown as it is, you know. It does have some very interesting buildings, some interesting architecture. I mean, you only have to watch something like uh, the modern version of Sherlock to see that, I mean, you know. There is some incredible parkour possibilities, you know, and with Canary Wharf and the West End and, you know, all the rest of it. There is a lot of content if they make a completely one-to-one -one London for there to be an interesting game. I mean, yes, you can still even have the, wa the water physics stuff, the boats and all that. There's even, you could have other crafts going up the Thames. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities for what you could do in Watch Dogs. Legion, Watch Dogs 3, you know, that to expand upon what you were able to do in Watch Dogs 2. So this is all happy, happy stuff. So, the question is, how true is this? On the face of it, I'd say there's a lot in here, you know. It does make sense, all the bits fall into place. The only thing that gets me is usually Ubisoft is kind of a bit wary of political things, you know, I mean, yes they do do political stuff, but they always try to make sure that it doesn't link that closely to the real world, you know, they sort of, they nibble at the edges, you know, I mean, look at um, Far Cry, I mean, yeah they set it in a sovereign state where it's all gone crazy, but they made it go uber crazy. And they sent it to a, to a surreal place. It's like, um, they always go with that little bit more so it just steps just outside of reality. And the thing is, a lot of people, like me, think that if Brexit goes ahead, it will turn this island into a hellhole. Which is one of the reasons why I support Scottish independence. We need to escape that nonsense. Big time. But all that aside, this could very well be a half decent game if they apply the lessons that's been learned in this generation 
and you know do even more of what they did in Watch Dogs 2 because I really liked Watch Dogs 2 it was a much better game than the original game but then the original game was held back by the fact they had to be cross-generational now that they have a proof of concept I think Watch Dogs 2 can be, sorry Watch Dogs 3 Legion can be a very interesting prospect and because we're stepping away from the American model I think we can have a bit more variation on you know character and stuff and references and yeah London's a bit more diverse as a city goes you know it's got all much more variation in its areas and yeah it'd be interesting to see though how car chases go down in such a tightly controlled city and like the congestion charging zone and all the rest of it yeah I think the only thing missing in Watch Dogs is the ability to use aircraft but then aircraft over London is much more tightly controlled than aircraft over in an American city as far as I'm aware so yeah I think interesting things are afoot the only things we have to worry about now are the plot obviously and of course the protagonist how are they going to make this interesting from a human level yeah, the city can be interesting the plot can be interesting but also be has to be interesting at a human level because now we're reaching the third game okay third game we need to have a somebody we can really get behind couldn't get behind Aiden Pierce. guy was a knobhead let's call it a spade a spade Aiden Pierce, terrible character Marcus I liked Marcus but he was a bit glib you know it's like we only saw him really seem to care when like you know Wrench kind of had what happened to him and when of course what happened to Horatio I'm not going to kind of give any spoilers here, you know, if you've not played Watch Dogs 2, I do recommend it, it's a good game. Uh, but there are a couple story points where you do see things go really sideways for Marcus and you get to see some of his emotional side. You need to see more of that, okay? You need to have a deeper character progression. Because he did seem a little surface level at times. But, you know, these are things that can be play tested and checked out and all the rest of it. But I just thought I'd bring this little, you know, Amazon leak of what is possibly to come for Watch Dogs 3. But if you have theories of your own or you have other leaks you want to discuss, remember that comment section down there is for you guys. Alright? And I read the comments. And anybody that's been here a while will tell you. Not only do I read the comments, I respond to the comments. I'm not one of these YouTubers who goes like, Ah, oh, tell me such and such about this video. And then I never get back. I never comment. That's not how I roll. I listen. I respond. So... Anyway, you know the drill by now. Come on. Rate, favourite, comment, share and subscribe. And of course, as always, I ne bother.